Hey everybody, welcome back to Conscientious Omnivore, my name is Pal. Uh, today I'm going to be planting out some of the little uh, seedlings that we got here, little plants that we got going from seed. Um, you might remember a video I did where I explained about uh, how I'm going to be recycling, reusing my toilet paper rolls. So I was saving them over the winter and then I made these nice little uh, cups. Uh, check out that video if you haven't seen it. Um, but basically I got all the seeds kind of uh, sown here for some of the stuff for the garden. And um, uh, I'm actually not an expert at uh, knowing which ones are which at this point. So um, to aid my memory, what I did was I wrote down in a handy dandy little notepad here um, which container has, uh, you know, how many rows of which plant. Um, so that I know kind of what to plant next to each other or what that I, you know, what will grow big and, you know, maybe potentially shade out something else. So um, you, you kind of want to know uh, what you're planting and, you know, eventually I'll probably get to know all of them, you know, but I can recognize some things. I know that that's corn um, and I know those are either the squash or um, cucumbers in the back there. Uh, I think those are either eggplant um, or maybe some kind of tomato. I don't know. But anyway, this is why you gotta <laughs> write them out. So um, what I'm gonna do today is I've got this one uh, bed that we've set up with the mulch before and um, you can see that some of the weeds have come through but it's very minor so what I'm gonna do is just go through it, pick up all the weeds first and uh, I'm gonna move the apples uh, seedlings from there and uh, start prepping this area a little bit. I'm gonna come down and you know cut all the grass in the back there too and uh, make it nice and then we're gonna start planting some of these um, little plants into the bed here and uh, I'll show it to you next. All right guys, so that whole section only took me a couple minutes and um, the reason being is that the mulch is so deep all the weeds that are in there have really long kind of roots that go way down through the mulch. So this is just very weak, you know, um, like for the plant. So you just give it a light tug and it comes out. And I'm just gonna do kind of like the equivalent of chop and drop as they call it in permaculture, where you just throw the weeds back down where you got them from. So I'm just pulling them out and I'm gonna leave them there. You can see like it took me probably, I don't know, maybe five, 10 minutes to go around the whole thing. And where I started, the um, weeds are already kind of like getting wilted by the sun. So this is just going to dry out and just go back right into the soil. Um, you know, probably in the course of a couple of days, you, you won't even really notice it. So uh, that's all I'm going to do with the grass here too. I'm just going to chop it down and just let it rot back where it is. Um, obviously, you know, this isn't perfect. I probably would have wanted more mulch on this than I actually have. But, uh, you know, over the course of the you know next few years, this is just going to keep getting better and better, and I'll have fewer and fewer weeds to deal with. And, um, you know, I, I want to expand the mulched area as well. So the more mulch you have, the less, you know, the, the encroaching, you know, weeds and grass on the side can get in and kind of uh, take over your, your bed. So um, uh, once I'm done with all my wall building and, um, you know, uh, projects that require stone in the garden I'm gonna probably put stone all around the the beds I have and that'll further kind of keep out the weeds from the edges so let's get to work okay that took a little bit longer than I had thought but uh, I'm all done now so you can see I've cut down all the grass around it and what I also did was um, kind of cleared out some of the area around here um, with the new raspberries that I got from my brother and I cleared out around the um, pomegranate tree a little bit uh, raspberries, but I think it's still okay. Um, might even do it some good to be in partial shade, so that's good. Then I also cleaned up around the strawberries, um, and then I just took the grass and threw it down in between. So that's going to dry out really quick and be kind of like a straw, which is actually good between the strawberries. It'll help keep it moist. Um, at some point I may put some light mulch uh, down there as well. And then I also cleaned up these strawberries and around the gooseberry as well in the back there. So uh, now it's time to get planting. All right guys, so this is the uh, exciting part. I know a lot of people were asking about this in the first video where I showed setting up this bed, you know, how the planting was gonna get done. Cause I think a lot of people assumed that the plants would just go into the mulch. They're not gonna go into the mulch, but you have to just pull back the mulch like I've done here. And you can see the dirt now underneath and uh, I don't know, it's really bright. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but basically the cardboard is actually gone. You can't even see the cardboard there anymore. And uh, there was a nice earthworm that just went over here, um, screwed around uh, way. 
Um, so what I'm going to do here is, you know, you can see that the soil is so moist under here. It's really great. Um, you know, this is just nice and cool in here. When I pulled away the mulch, you can really feel it with your hand. Um, it's going to be a lot better for the plants. So, like I said, um, you know, what we're going to do is I'm going to dig a tiny little hole in here in the dirt. I'm going to put a plant in, and then what I'll do is just pull back just a tiny bit of the mulch like that. And when it starts growing out of there, then, you know, you can kind of pull some of the mulch back, but you don't want to, you know, you don't want to bury it in mulch. Um, it's really just to be around it so that it keeps the weeds down, keeps the moisture in, and, um, you know, keeps the soil healthy with all the nice, you know, earthworms and everything else that's living down there that's good for the plants. So let me get some holes, um, you know, cleared out here and we'll get some plants in. <clears throat> Here's one of the uh, corn plants uh, that, that we grew. And you can see that the root is already kind of coming out the bottom. So it's definitely time to plant this as far as I can uh, see. Um, or at the very least transfer it to a bigger pot, but I just want to put it in the ground. And um, you can see the toilet paper roll has actually kind of started to disintegrate as well. Now, some people will tell you you should tear this apart or, you know, soak it really well. Well, it's already soaked, so I don't think I need to do that. Um, I'm just going to tear it down the side and kind of open it up. I'm going to put it in the hole here and just push a little bit of the dirt back around it, get a little bit of mulch on top, and that's it. I'll show it to you next. So that's the first one in. Um, now time to get the rest done. So, uh... You can see, I mean, I've only put in maybe like, you know, like a, not even a centimeter, probably just a little bit of mulch around it and um, should be good to go. We'll see how it turns out. All right, guys, so I'm going to have to wrap it up uh, for now just because it's getting kind of late and I got some other stuff I need to take care of. But uh, I did get um, most of the corn planted. I got a few more left and, uh, you know, it's the only thing I really had time for. So I got a bunch uh, over in this corner. I got, I think, five. Yeah, five over here. And then I got two in the middle, um, kind of over here. And then I got uh, four more over in that corner. And the idea is that I'm going to be planting some squash as well, uh, kind of over here. And I'm going to be trying to corral it to grow this way, where it's not going to grow, you know, across the bed. I want it to grow kind of over to here to the side. I don't care if it kills the grass over here. And um, if it comes this way, that's great. Uh, and then, you know, I want to do like tomatoes and eggplants and a whole bunch of other stuff, you know, going in this way. I haven't even started my beans yet, which is kind of a problem. I think they should have already been started. So I'm, I'm quite behind on a lot of things, um, but I'm not going to stress about it. Uh, you know, I think there's just a lot to be said for, um, you know, gardening. It's a multi-year thing, you know. Um, don't get discouraged if you're just trying it for the first time. I'm trying to keep my expectations really low just so that, uh, you know, I don't get disappointed here. But, um, yeah, my idea is that, you know, this is a multi-year investment. I'm really, you know, working the mulch. I'm working, you know, the fruit trees, the bushes. These are things that are going to take years to pay dividends. But when they do, you know, it's a really uh, good reward. And that's the long view that I'm taking on it. So for right now, I just put the uh, rest of the plantings over here. And, um, you know, they're going to be in half shade there. They'll be fine. Uh, and then I'll either come back later tonight or tomorrow or whatever. I get a chance and I'll try and plant some more stuff out. And, um, yeah, I'll try and sprout some beans too. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, hope that answers the questions people had about the, the mulch and how you, how you use it and how you plant in there. And, um, you know, I'll give regular updates as the stuff is growing. And hopefully we'll get corn up to here and actually get some, some years of corn to harvest, uh, you know, later in the summer. All right. See you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.